Please all stand and let us pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intention of your Sacred Heart the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of the, our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of December. We pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Eucharistic Celebration. Today is Wednesday, Feast of the Holy Innocents, Martyrs. Please welcome our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wi. Joy to the world, the Lord has come.
We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, 
Grant, we pray, that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you, God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin, but if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us? Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Rama, sobbing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we commemorate the innocent infants or the niños inocentes that were killed by King Herod during the time he realized or he learned that a Savior was born in the person of Jesus. I'd like you to imagine this scenario. Paki-imagine nyo nga po ito sa inyong isip. In a room with people, there is a candle. A room with people and a candle. It is lighted for the people to see things clearly so that the people inside the room could live in light and not in darkness. Mahirap naman kung madilim sa isang silid. Mahirap mamuhay sa dilim. When suddenly, someone came into the room and tried to blow the light in the candle. Definitely, the people in the room could not see clearly anymore. Probably, they would fall or they would hurt themselves or they would hurt other people or they could commit mistakes because they cannot see anything because they are not used to darkness. Hindi po ba? Kapag hindi ka sanay sa dilim, hindi ka makakakita sa dilim. Ang mga sanay lang sa dilim ang kayang makakita sa dilim. Imagine natin, no? may ilaw, biglang nawala, di ba? Ang hirap makakita. It would take time for us to adjust. Pero yung mga sanay na sa dilim, kaya makakita sa dilim. But someone ran into the candle to protect it. He placed a glass shield so that the light won't die. My dear brothers and sisters, ganito po nangyari noong panahon ni Haring Herodes. Gusto niyang patayin si Jesus. 
na isinilang bilang ilaw ng sanlibutan gaya ng pagkakalarawan ni San Juan sa ating unang pagbasa. Tinutukoy niya si Jesus bilang ilaw. At nais yun patayin ni Haring Herodes. Pero may nagprotekta para hindi mapatay ang ilaw. May nagprotekta ng ilaw para hindi mamatay. At ito yung naging gampanin ng mag-asawang Jose at Maria. Nang sundin nila ang utos ng Diyos na tumakas papuntang Ehipto. Pero sa diyang masama si Haring Herodes dahil hindi nga niya napatay ang ilaw, ang ginawa niya, pinatay niya ang mga inosenteng tao, inosenteng bata na dapat sana nakakapamuhay. All these things were done by King Herod out of insecurity because a king was born. Out of greedy of power because he does not want to be replaced by someone who is greater than him. All this because of jealousy that a savior was born to protect all the people from which he used to do. Look at how people could do out of greed, insecurity, jealousy, or even any sin. They can kill innocent. And in us, there is always this King Herod within us. Na yung whenever we commit sin, meron tayong ilaw na pinapatay within us. At pag may namatay, someone would affect, be affected. Kaya nga kapag nananaig ang King Herod sa ating mga puso, meron laging apektado. Whenever there's jealousy, someone would be affected. Whenever there's greed in us, innocent people could also be affected. Whenever any sin, any sin that we commit, innocent people will be affected. And that is why we have Jesus. Because yes, there would come a time that King Herod in us would prosper. Mananaig. Talaga naman, dahil sa kahinaan natin, magkakasala tayo. Mabuti na lang, kahit may King Herod within us, meron ding Jesus within us. Jesus within us that would keep our light despite our weaknesses. And my dear brothers and sisters, this is what our readings would want to teach us and open our eyes into that in every one of us, there's King Herod. But despite that King Herod in us, we have Jesus who will save us from our sins, who will save us from the things that we do not know what we do. We have Jesus in us who will always be the light for us. Amen. Please all stand. Christ our Lord was born into a fallen world. The cruelty which claimed the lives of the holy innocents eventually brought him to the cross. Let us pray for this world fallen yet redeemed by the sacrifice of innocent love. We pray and say, through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. 
that Christ, born as our Savior, may, sa may save those yet unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That God, who is the source of all life, may bring an end to abortion and to all other forms of violence in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That we may build a society of love and justice based on respect for each and every human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That God, who sent His Son to save and not to condemn, may touch the hearts of all who have had abortions and bring them the gift of repentance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That all children who have been lost by abortion may be received into the eternal dwelling prepared for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Merciful and gentle Father, accept our prayers as we seek to understand the mystery of innocent blood. Help us to look always to your crucified and risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
O sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, The 
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints who though still unable to profess your son in speech were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth who lives and reigns forever and ever amen please be seated for some announcement you are all invited to the following parish activities on december 21 our New Year's Eve Mass is at 8 o'clock in the evening. On January 1st, the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, the schedules of Masses at the Shrine are as follows. 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 p.m., 5.30 p.m., and 7 p.m. Starting January 2, our new schedules of Masses are as follows. On Monday through Saturday, our Masses will be held at 6.30 and 7.15 in the morning, 12.15 in the afternoon, and 6 in the evening. On Sunday, Masses will be held at 7, 8, 9, and 10 in the morning, at 12 and 5 in the afternoon, and at 6 and 7 in the evening. Sunday, Masses held at 10 a.m., 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. are Tagalog Masses. A slight change was made from what was previously announced. Please take note that the 11 a.m. Schedule, schedule on Sundays will be reserved for communal baptism inside the church. Grab a copy of the 2023 parish calendar for only 60 pesos, available in our parish office and religious store. On January 8, the Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord, we shall be having the blessing of Catholic calendars after the Mass. All Catholic families are encouraged to have a liturgical calendar in their homes to help them celebrate and understand more fully the entire mystery of the, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your attention. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, <clears throat> we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. And worthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity? We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation began, destined to bring through the light of your dawning, conquest of Satan, and rescue to men. Then from your throne, at the voice of our crying, look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. We sinners all know your sinless perfection. Fallen and we, for God's mercy we plead. Grant us the shield of your mighty protection. Measure your aid by the death of our needs. Bend from your throne at the voice of our crying. Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Please kneel. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for Mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. He sent in our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present in this Navida, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying. 
Give hope to the poor and the unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted. Walk in the solidarity of the oppressed. Teach justice to the oppressors and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we chose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they may always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help, Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Help, we sinners call to you that we may give our hearts completely to Christ this Christmas, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men, that we may be more like our Lord, divine Lord, as you were, that we may be and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus, that may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be true Christians by loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with priests of priestly and religious vocations. <clears throat> that we may care and protect God's creation, that we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death, that there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him, that we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. 
that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by a hope in the risen Lord, that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Please stand. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, these do I long to see. The bliss untold which your arms enfold, the treasure upon your knee. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, I to and a sore me see. O oh, leave your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. And Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I ask of thee when the voyage is o'er oh it stand on the shore and show him at last to me please kneel <clears throat> lord jesus christ truly present in the most blessed eucharist we adore you it has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant us to be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending it to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially to this novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love to the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience, graciously hear our prayers for the sick, especially this one. Grant that they who are weighed down with
with pain and other afflictions of illness, may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul, so that they may continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Please rise. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at malagayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat.